Hello everyone, it's Sizzle Collapse, and I'm back yet again playing Modern Skyblock 3. In between episodes, I did a whole lot. I did a bunch of crafting, I did some other bits of bobs, I did some more processing, stuff like that. Uh, I had to make some lead. Actually, I need some of that lead, so I should grab some of that right now. I thought I'd do that. I'm actually still making lead. Anyway, <laughs> um, we're going to get to a bunch of immersive stuff, but before we even do that, I want to kind of automate the process of kind of auto-filling a cauldron and kind of cleaning gems. So up here, I think we have some dirty diamond. We're going to grab a bunch of this stuff. This is everything I crafted up. I crafted up a fair amount. Uh, we're going to grab this jazz here. So I made some of these. These are the ender tanks. Just some blaze rods, some obsidian, and a pearl. They just hold liquids. They're ender tanks that hold liquid. You can kind of pump in and out of them. And uh, yeah, they're pretty cool. And uh, we're going to be using those as well. Um, but that's not act. That's for something else. Uh, let's actually automate the buckets first, I guess, for the cauldron. So let's go and throw you right there. We're going to be using these. These are mechanical users. They're pretty cool. They can interact with blocks. It's kind of what we're using them for. So I'm going to kind of set them up in that kind of shape right there. Going to grab one of these. These is these. No, this is a sink from cooking for blockheads. And uh, it, it's an infinite water source, basically. So I can basically go like this and uh, just get water or whatever I want, which is pretty cool. Which is also something I need because we need to set up two filters here. We're going to need one for a full bucket and one for an empty bucket. So let's do that. Do that. And throw... I did full, right? Yeah, there we go. Uh, we're going to need two transfer nodes. So let's grab those. Bam. And bam. I'm also going to take a fluid one. This is for something else, but we'll get to that in a second. Uh, we're going to grab a couple pipes. And we're pretty much already done. Except for one more part. The last part of this is going to be... Change these to activate block uh, with item. So it's going to take a bucket, use it on the block, and actually fill the bucket. So if I take this bucket now, this one right here, this pretty little bucket, throw it in there, it's going to get filled up. And uh, this one I didn't set, so it totally derped everything. Uh, we want it to activate block with item. There we go. You can see it actually fills the cauldron. It's just getting unfilled and filled over and over again, which is not what we want. We're just going to grab the filters, I suppose, and put the full bill bucket filter in this one. And we're going to put the other one over here. So the empty bucket. There we go. Stop making all that sound. It can't just keep on filling and filling anymore. And uh, we should be able to take these now. And if I give it some speed upgrades, which is something I'm going to need, um, this should go at a good pace. You see, it, it, it's falling behind a little bit right now. So I just didn't go to the trouble with all the other crafting. I was just like, do I really need my speed upgrades right now? Can I just record a video? And, uh, yeah, there we go. Just went through 60 of those like there were nothing. So that is so much easier. And that's good automation. Uh, we're going to go over here. Going to grab a transfer pipe. Throw that there. And this is going to be used just to kind of fulfill our water needs whenever I need to move water around. So I'm just going to take that. I'm going to throw one of these tanks here. you notice it's holding 250, well, it can hold. Um, 256,000 millibuckets, so 256 buckets. I actually had to use Eyes of Ender to get it up that high. Um, I think it took 14 Eyes of Ender to get it that high. It starts off at, uh, 32 buckets. So, yeah. Anyway, and you have to pump, you can't pump it to the sides. It has to be the top or bottom. But, uh, yeah, that's that. Uh, we're going to grab one of these things here. So, all these blocks. Uh, this one is actually the mixer. It's actually a quest in the book. So, we're going to kind of go through it real quick. Then we're going to get on some more fun stuff. So, uh, did I grab the projector? I did not. We're going to use a projector. Projector actually kind of shows the multi-blocks in the world. And it's pretty cool. I must well grab that too because we're going to need it. And the projector. And do I have a immersive book? I do. So, let's go in here. Let's go to our book because we need to. Let's go to heavy machinery and let's go to mixer. Once we're on that page, we're going to take the book and the projector, put them together. It's going to mix us a mixer projector. Which is pretty cool, because it actually shows us the multi-block. And uh, we're going to take it over here and put it by the immersive stuff, I suppose. And uh, if you kind of middle, like middle mouse click, you know, the scroll wheel, uh, it'll actually spin it around. I think it can hold, is it shift, the middle mouse? Yeah, and it kind of, it mirrors it. So it's like that, then we hold shift, it puts the redstone block on the other side. Because it can be built either way, it doesn't really matter. And, uh, anyway, we're just going to kind of put it here somewhere. Uh, is it right click? Yeah, you right click and uh, then you get it there It just puts the base level which is really cool because when we finish this base level We'll go up to the next one and we can kind of build it level by level without having to really think about it And everyone knows that thinking is painful uh, So that's a multi-block. It'll get a green outline when it's done Grab your engineer's hammer right click and there you go get a mixer 
Let's take a look at the actual quest that I'm working on here. It's heavy machinery in here, mixing it up. It wants us to make liquid concrete and liquid slime. You can also do potions in these things, kind of like bulk potion crafting, which uh, I may do some later on. I, I don't want that there anymore, so let's do that. Um, so we can get the, there's a quest there for, what was it? It was the magic one. Or is it? Some true magic. This one here, we need potions to be able to, every once in a while when you kill a mob, you see those little blue floaty specter guys. You need potions to kill them, or some kind of other magic. Um, yeah, I'm going to be probably making some potions of instant damage to do that. I may do that in here, just to get some more use out of it. Um, but yeah, we need to give this power, so let's get a RF transmitter. Hopefully this one can use a transmitter, because the immersive stuff, I don't know if that's intended or not, or if it's just kind of... One of those weird things where it's working on some things and not others. It is working. Sweet. Um, anyway, let's go here. And you'll see it kind of get a little interface here. This is for items for the recipe. This is a tank for the liquids. So we are going to have to pump some liquids in here. That would probably be a good, you know, first stage. Uh, this over here is for the liquids. This over here is so you can pump items in. And I think that's it. Uh, this is the output for the liquids. Uh, here you can put a lever which I don't really... Well, maybe I actually kind of do need a lever. I think I did make some, I believe. Yes, I did. Sweet. Let's go back. Throw a lever on it. Um, There's no place for a bucket inside this thing, so you actually have to output the liquids to kind of pull it out. When you... So if I pump a whole bunch of water in here, like I'm going to in a second, uh, I have to turn this off or it's going to keep outputting, which is why I kind of wanted that. I'm also going to need a tank. And I totally forgot to grab that as well, because I do have them crafted. Uh, let's go. Let's just do... Oh, of course, you'd go that way. I want you sideways, man. Do this. There we go. Then grab a transfer node. Pull out of that puppy. And uh, probably grab that. And it should start filling up with water. Awesome. Let's go over here. Let's do this. Actually, let's get the recipes in there first, I suppose. Let's go... So the recipe for the slime, I think, was this. And the recipe for the next part was uh, liquid concrete was this. It'll just start putting the kind of the, the liquids down at the bottom. And uh, you can see there, liquid slimes being made. Got a little bar kind of going. It's doing that jazz. And this should be enough for each recipe is 500 millibuckets. So I had to put two recipes for each in there. But we have concrete. We have slime. Just need that to finish. I'm going to show you how the concrete works. Because, uh, yeah, it's a little weird mechanic. There we go. Now I'm going to try it with the slime, too. Because I'm not sure, like I said, how the slime works. So I'm going to just try this. See if this works or not. If it does, sweet. If it doesn't, well, we'll move on with our life. Because it's not that important. Because I honestly don't know what the liquid slime is for. I'm guessing it's for slime balls. But uh, it's like an immersive liquid. So I'm not really sure. Uh, liquid slime's there. I just need that to finish. There we go. Got our liquid. Let's do that. Throw that right there. That'll fill up. We got a bucket. I'm going to close that. This will give us our first bucket. Sweet. Then I can flick the lever. Boom. Is that the full bucket? It is. Fantastic. And that way, if I turn it off, it won't keep uh, pumping water out. Because as soon as I take the liquid out of here, it would have uh, just put uh, water into the world. Um, do I only have one bucket, man? Apparently so. Let's actually take the concrete, then, and, uh, throw that right there. Grab that. There we go. See if it gives us our quest. What do you mean? Detect. What? I'm confused. Uh, where can I empty this? Empty you. Okay. Do you? Well, that's horrible, because we got totally scammed. I'm going to have to make another recipe of concrete real quick. Okay, I made a second recipe of concrete. It's just about done there, I think. Right there? Yeah, there we go. Hopefully it actually gives us the quest now. That'd be fantastic. Let's go and grab... Where is it? This bucket here? And do this. Are you actually give it to me now? That's weird that it didn't say... Uh, yeah, it's filling that up. Don't need that right now. Uh, but you can see here that the concrete all turned into concrete. So it's a way to kind of make concrete in the world without actually having to kind of craft concrete. Because otherwise you have to make it with slag. Uh, the weird stuff is, this used to be stuff that you can mine up. Now you can't. So I don't know if there's a way to mine this stuff, but I, it looks like they're making it so you have to make it kind of in the world. 
So yeah, definitely a thing. And I want to throw this down to kind of see if this turns into slime blocks. Because uh, like I said, I have no idea about this liquid slime. I couldn't find it in the book. It might be there somewhere, I suppose. But I, I tend to not want to spend a lot of time in the immersive book because it still crash crashes my pack to this day. And that's been an ongoing issue for almost a year now. So yeah, definitely a thing. Yeah, yeah, pretty cool. Pretty cool. I really like it. I like crashing. Anyway, let's uh get rid of that bucket. We don't need that right now. And bam. I may use this stuff for roads later on too. But that doesn't look like it's going to convert. I think it would have converted by now, which is unfortunate because it uh, would have been a neat little thing. It doesn't take very long. Like that'll convert another couple seconds here. Yeah, there you go. But, uh, yeah, no idea. If someone knows, let me know. So the next quest line I want to get to is over here. So not there at all. Heavy machinery. Uh, this one here. So there's two kind of add-on mods to immersive in this pack. There's this one here for... It's a different way of making diesel. You also get gasoline and you also get lubricant. So it wants us to get through all that in Bituum. Uh, this one over here is yet another add-on. So this one's called Immersive Petroleum. This one's called Immersive Tech, I believe. The Immersive Tech actually adds a turbine, a steam turbine, which we're not going to get to today. We're going to go through this one first, then go through that one. Um, but yeah, we're going to get that going. I've already made the, um, what is it? Drill core sample, I think it's called. Let's go to core. Core sample? What is it called? Core sample drill. I already made that, so we're good to go there. I do want to make some kind of battery, though. So let's go to LV. Uh, cap. There's actually a quest attached to this, too. So let's do that. Bam. That should actually give me a quest there. Let's actually make a better one, because it's not much harder. There we go. Bam. And let's go to MV. I don't think... Uh, I have everything for these two, so I'll kind of finish off these quests. I think there's a HV as well, and I haven't made any of that stuff yet. Probably get to it in time. Uh, what does the capacitor take? Because it'll just hold a lot more power, right? Steal that lead block. I could do lead blocks. Maybe? Yes, yes I can. Let's uh, make a lead block. There we go. And I wanted a redstone block as well. Then we just kind of have the top level battery. From Immersive, this is our first battery at this point. Oh, it takes aluminum as well. Is that aluminum? Is that aluminum? Too many different kinds of metals, man. I thought I made aluminum. Oh, yeah, I did. There we go. Sweet. There we go. And okay, we're going to head outside here and kind of work somewhere. Let's kind of... Let's put the crate down here around somewhere. And uh, kind of get this going. Let's just, like, put it there. What do we have in our inventory? A whole bunch of junk I don't need. Let's clear that off for right now. Uh, I'm going to grab this one here. This one is actually the crates when you break them. Sometimes they kind of miss up, mess up all your organization, man. I'm going to grab that. That one is actually for the pump jack, but we'll probably get into that a little bit. First thing we need is this core sample. And I actually forgot one more thing. Uh, we need some kind of power generator because the RF transmitters do not work on this thing. And okay, let's come over here and grab our core sample drill. We're actually going to kind of look at this. These are kind of like the chunk boundaries, right? So if I came over here and threw it here, it's in a chunk. Uh, what these things do is basically check the chunk for a couple things. It checks them for fluids. So the fluids are lava, water, and oil. So there are fluids that we can find. Uh, it also checks it for resources, which you can ask, actually dig up with the excavator, which is a multi-block, which I'm probably not getting into uh, in this playthrough because I really don't see a reason to. Let's go there. Throw that there. I'm going to grab that capacitor really quick. Because I would like to get that charged up a little bit. There we go. Boom. Is that getting power? No. Cool thing about this too. This thing's like touching block. You can hold shift. It says opposite side. You can actually set that side to input just by shift and right clicking with a hammer. And, uh, pretty cool. So it's getting the power now. But anyway, now that this has some power, I should be able to right click it. And it's going to do a little, you know, animation. It's going to go down. And when it's done, we can right click it and actually get a core sample. It actually will tell us what's in the chunk. So it's a pretty cool little mechanic. There we go. And uh, what is this one? This one is the silver vein. It looks like we found water, which I don't really want. And, uh, it actually tells you expected yield on the ores too. So silver, it looks like it will find 38,400 blocks. Wow, that is crazy. It takes a long time to get that, mind you. Uh, yeah, definitely a thing. Uh, we're actually going to move this thing. Bam. We'll let that charge up. Let's head over here. Head to the next chunk. 
because this is basically what you do. You just move chunk to chunk to chunk <laughs> until you find, you know, your, your oil, which is what we're going for right now. Why am I using real oil? I'm uh, sorry, real coal. Let's do that. Let's check this one. Um, it seems like they, it puts oil in a lot of chunks too, actually. Uh, you will find chunks with absolutely nothing as well. So that was definitely a thing. You're not going to find it right away. This one found lava and it found copper. So that's pretty cool. I think copper also finds gold. Yeah, gold's right there, I think. Copper, no, I'm not sure. Yeah, the green's copper. That's the gold. That, anyway. Found me nothing good. Let's go this way. Bam. When I did it in Simple Life, I found like, I don't know, in a 25 by 25 RAM. So what I think I did, I found like eight of them. I don't know if I was just really lucky or they changed the rates or what. But anyway, let's do that. Bam. I mean, I can't say much. This is only, what, fifth one? <laughs> can't do too much complaining. I know with the excavator, I have searched for long periods trying to find uranium. What's this one? Oh, we found oil. That is 9,500,000 millibuckets of oil. So 9,500 buckets of oil. So we can actually do this chunk here, which is actually fantastic. Uh, I'm going to leave that there for a couple seconds. And uh, we're going to get straight. To oh, I actually have everything we need for the pump jack. Except for my book. <laughs> I just need to be able to change. Where did I put the grape? Put it over here. I need to be able to find the actual multi-block here. So let's do that. Bam. Because I need to change that projector. Let's go to... We want to go to oil processing, pump jack. Then we want to combine that with the projector. Switch that over. Pretty sweet. Then we get head over here. So we should be able to put this anywhere in the chunk. So the boundaries are pretty good. Let's go. Let's rotate that. Doesn't really matter which way it goes. Uh, let's put it right there. There we go. Sounds good. Let's get all the stuff on our bar. There we go. Fantastic. Oh, where'd you go? Oh, I forgot you take that off. Kind of gets rid of everything. Oh, made it come back. Look at that. Magic. Anyway, light engineering block. Good old steel scaffolds. There we go. Some more of those jazz. And... How are we going to do this? I actually know the shape, so let's do this. That, that. That, that, I believe. And then... That, steel block, steel block. And that should be... Yeah, you can see there, it's got a green outline, so it's good to go. I think we need to hammer... This particular block right here. So hit that. And there we go, we got our multi-block. Let's get that off. And that's pretty cool. So this is the pump jack. This thing is going to pull the oil out of the ground for us. I don't know if we have enough power to really power this thing yet, but I may have to grab our thermoelectrics, kind of move them out here at some point. Let's go to RF Trans, or just make more, to be honest. They're not that expensive anymore. We'll probably make more. Probably make more sense. Because we could just... Actually, I'll just throw it like, down here. Yeah, look at that chunk of log. That is fantastic. Okay, let's go and grab more coal generators. So I'm going to take this. I'm going to throw the capacitor right there. Kind of our buffer. Uh, I should be able to shift right click this and set it to output. There we go. It'll run at normal speed right now, but it's not going to last very long. That's going to drain that power really quick. I'm not sure how much this takes, to be honest. Probably be able to tell you in the next episode. There we go. Bam. Bam. And bam. There we go. That'll actually make it go at least a little bit, right? Then we should be able to break this. We don't need that anymore. And, uh, yeah, this thing is really simple. It has no entire, like, interface. It just outputs the oil here. And it's actually producing oil right now, but we have no place to put it. Though I do have tanks. So let's grab those. Grab this one. And I don't know if we can direct connect these. Let's see. Yes, you can. So it's getting oil. So you can see there, liquid oil. That is pretty cool. Uh, I want to upgrade these tanks. I haven't actually upgraded these ones. So we're going to need uh, quite a few eyes of Ender, so I might as well go grab those. Let's grab you, and you. Bam, it was 14. Let's just do 14 then. There we go, and that. Fantastic. Get rid of that, and get rid of that. Okay. Get them all upgraded. I made three of these, because I figured we'd probably have to move this oil around a fair amount. But, uh, for right now, it's fine. There's going to be three liquids that, that actually get processed when we process this uh 
sorry, produced when we actually process this crude oil. Anyway, let's do that. There we go. 256,000. And that's exactly what we want. It is almost nighttime. So I'm going to go sleep and then we're going to get to the processing of this stuff. And okay, I slept. We should be good to go here. I'm just going to add a lever here just so I can turn this thing off uh, when I'm processing, right? But anyway, let's do that. Let's take a look at our quest because I can't remember if we just needed oil. Yes, I think we just need crude oil. So I should be able to grab a bucket of that. Let's do that. There we go. Is that a quest? Yes, it is. Sweet. Okay, awesome. Uh, we need to go and make another multi-block here. So we're going to go here, here, bam, go back, grab this one. Distillation tower. This is going to be how we process the materials. I don't remember which block we have to hit. Redstone engineering block is the one we have to hit. Uh, but yeah, this one processes the crude oil. Holy 2,000, oh, per operation. It doesn't say how many it tick. Okay, cool. Um, yeah, we don't have enough power to run this fully, but uh, we should before long, because this entire setup is going to remember, after we make the tower, which we probably won't get to today, we're going to be able to make diesel generators, and there's also a secondary byproduct of gasoline, which we can use on, they're called like portable, let's, like, let's go to gasoline, you know, what is it, uh, I think they're portable, yeah, these ones here, you can put the gasoline in these ones, the portable generators, and they produce power as well, although not much, it might be only around like 80 RF tick, uh, definitely something we can do. Anyway, let's go and uh, look at this multi-block here. So we have this. We have that. We have distillation tower. And uh, I need to kind of look. Uh, maybe look in the book. I don't remember where the uh, input is for this. Distillation tower. Oh. Where is it? That's not what I want. Oil processing. Distillation tower. Where would the input be? Probably there. This would be the front, right? The input. You know what? It doesn't matter that much. Let's just make it kind of face this way. We're probably going to end up moving it anyway. Um, as you know, the pump jacks are going to end up having to be moved anyway because there's a limited amount of oil in there. So that's definitely something. That looks so janky, not having enough power. Anyway, let's uh, put you there. Nope. Let's rotate you. Where's the redstone block? Over there. There we go. That'll work. Maybe like right there for now. As a temporary spot. And uh, let's go grab our bits and bobs. Over here. Bam. This one is very tall. It's a very tall multi-block. It takes tons of the uh, iron sheet metal. It took uh, 60 of them. So there we go. Uh, next thing I'm going to do is kind of speed this up. Let's grab you. Grab you. Should be able to grab a wand. I thought I had one. How many times am I going to have to go back to this crate, man? Go there. Bam. Going to need that. Going to need that and that. And you. There we go. Go up here. Let's just take this up all the way. Because we're going to be using every one of these things. <laughs> uh, uh. There we go. Got it. There we go. And that's how tall that thing is. It is a massive structure. Like, just crazy. Uh, this pipe in the front actually goes the total length of it as well. So, might as well get those in there. There we go. There we go. Sweet. And then we're going to need our heavy, heavy engineering. And redstone. And steel scaffolding. So, steel scaffolding literally just goes up here, I believe. I think it goes this height. We'll see. Sweet. And uh, yeah, we should just need pipes. And then there were slabs, right? So there were these. Where are they at? Steel scaffolding slabs. So that's cool. Oops. Totally messed that up. There we go. We're done. That's actually it. Sweet. Let's go down here. It's at the redstone engineering block. So let's go here. Bam. It's just a sheep. Oh. It says it's right. I thought it said, uh, hit this. Oh, I uh, have it turned the wrong way. Urgh. Well, that's, that's frustrating. Anyway, let's go here. Let's go to get rid of that redness. Boom. I won't worry about which way it's facing right now, I suppose. There we go. Fantastic. Um, so, this thing. I have it totally facing the wrong way. Because the oil, I think, needs to be... No, that's the output. 
Crude oil needs to be pumped into here, I believe. Uh, this is going to be an output for the byproduct, which is bituum. Redstone signal, as usual. So we can just do this. Bam. And that. Fantastic. Uh, I may turn this one off right now. We have enough oil to kind of get us going. We've got 13 buckets. And because uh, we need a bucket of lubricant and diesel, I think it was, uh, to kind of go through this. To kind of finish off the quest, then I can do stuff in between videos, right? And you guys don't need to watch. You'll know how to do this jazz. And I can pretty it up. And uh, I'm probably going to do a total just build on immersive stuff. I'm not going to use conveyors and stuff, but, uh, you know, just buildings and stuff. Because we're going to have these tall towers, and there's other ones for the solar. Um, solar? Is it solar? Yeah. There's, like, another tower for the steam. I forget what it was called. So that's going to be the liquid output. Uh, we need pipes, man. Let's grab that. Grab that. I guess we can just pull it off here. And? Is that getting diesel? Why you don't get diesel? I wonder if you can't input and output out of the same ones. Those uh, tanks. Because I think I tried that in creative and it didn't work either. Okay, not going to worry about it. Let's go grab one of these tanks, I suppose. Let's just put you right there for a second. Just so I can do that. There we go. Or maybe you can only pump out the bottom? Maybe that's how it works. I have no idea. I'll have to pull around with them a little more. But I should be able to do this, right? There we go. We got our crude oil in there. And pump that in there. And there we go. We're getting crude oil. Getting the powers. Not the powers. It's getting the crude oils. We're going to give it the powers. All the powers that it needs. There we go. Take that. Let's get rid of that, Jazz. Silly indexer. I'll be happy to see it go. I mean, it's better than not having it. At the same time, it's very painful. Um, RF transmitter. There we go. Fantastic. Should be able to take that. Doesn't really matter where that goes. And it's going to light up. And it should very slowly because it's not getting the power it needs. It's actually not that slow. Um, it's not fast by any means. We could definitely speed that up. Um, let's go. I don't actually have. Where's the power input on this thing? Nope. Right there. Okay. That has 77,000. I just want to see how fast it goes with power. That there. It has power. Did I do something with the lever? Did I? Oh, I'm such a dork. Anyway, there we go. It'll start working now. <laughs> it is working considerably faster, too. So that's pretty cool. Let's go up there. Let's actually get you off. There you go. And grab this thing now. Throw that on there. And there we go. And you'll see, we're going to get gasoline. We get diesel. We get lubricant. We're getting all the different liquids, which is exactly what we want to see here. Muzzle grab. Cold generator as well. Throw that on there. Get it going a little faster because we need a bucket of each liquid, right? Uh, the output's over here, but I need to sleep because mobs are already coming. And okay, I slept. I'm just letting this stuff process. You can see here, we got a good amount of the gasoline. So that can be used in the generators, like I said. We should be able to do kind of a looping system where we kind of use the gasoline and the portable generators and then maybe power these machines. That's what I'm kind of thinking. Maybe I'll make some of those in between episodes. This one must be getting pretty long. Um, yeah, so we really just need these liquids now to kind of finish what we need to do today. So let's go find the output here. Output is right there. Okay, that's going to grab. Which one did it grab first? Gasoline. Let's go to a tank. And boom. I may do the multi-block tanks from Immersive. They can hold uh, 512 buckets each, I think. Probably be pretty beneficial. What's going on here? You can't take these liquids? Maybe it doesn't take non-vanilla uh, liquids. I've had that problem with tanks before. I am totally confused. Yeah, I don't think I can. I pumped through the side before. So I was going to do this, right? Oh. That is really weird. <laughs> it's going in there now for sure. Uh, that is odd. Anyway. Let this go. Let it drain. Obviously need some speed upgrades. These things by default are pretty slow. Um, but once it gets that gas out of there, it should just move the diesel over to another one. 
So there's our power for the diesel generator. Once we have this, you know, producing at a good pace. Um, right now, of course, it's not keeping up to any diesel generator. I don't even know if one of these could keep up to the entire diesel generator. But uh, we'll, we'll worry about that later. Uh, which liquids do we actually need to finish the quest? We just need diesel. We also need probably some bitumen. And we also need the lubricant. So, yeah, let's grab that stuff. Bitumen is just a byproduct. It'll be output through this hole here. And it can be used just to make asphalt, I think. It's pretty much the only use for it. It's kind of like the slag. No real use other than some aesthetic blocks. And some, you know, semi-functional blocks. What's it getting here now? Diesel? Diesel? I don't like that it's getting both. Let's pull that. Matt. I want to get uh, lubricant on the bottom. It's weird that the, this machine only has one output. That's my only real beef with this thing. Because I do have a beef with it. <laughs> I definitely should have made speed upgrades. I don't understand why it's having such a struggle to get the liquids out of here. I don't even mind wasting this right now. I really just want to get enough to kind of get the lubricant. Get all the liquids we need, right? Did I get lubricant? Finally, I got lubricant. Sweet. So we can grab... The gasoline, right? That was one of them. Was it one? I can't remember. It wants diesel. Okay, so let's grab a bucket of diesel. That'll handle that. And this one here, which one was this? Crude? I should be able to just put that in there. Then grab our... Did I get it? Oh, it still hasn't got that. It seems to pull the... I'm definitely going to need a way to pull the liquid out faster. It seems to kind of pull it out in a kind of a set order. I'll turn it off, let it drain. We should finally get our lubricant. There we go, we got our lubricant. Bam, that'll work way better. I should have turned that off way sooner. Didn't even think, you know, just turn it off. It'll stop producing stuff. Don't have to worry about the three liquids. But you're definitely going to need a fast way to pull the liquids out of there. Well, faster than this. Probably some speed upgrades. Probably handle it. So that handles it. It didn't handle it very well. I mean, we're running on very low power. But, uh... I mean, effectively, it gave us, you know, we can make power with this, we can make power with the gasoline, and uh, lubricant can be used for lubricating machines, and uh, that actually speeds up machines. So, definitely a thing that I've never actually done, and I uh, will probably try at some point, because there is a quest on it, I believe. Yeah, this one isn't finished. It needs all that jazz. And okay, I think I'm going to end this one here. So, as always, guys, like this video, please hit that like button. If you really liked it, hit that subscribe button. It is much appreciated. I want you guys all have a good one. I'll see you guys next video. Later.